Hey everybody, this is Dwayne Butler and I'm senior pastor here at World Worship Church and I want you to consider this. In Exodus 20 verses 4 through 5, we find the beginning of what is known to us as the Ten Commandments. And so it begins by saying this, you shall not make for yourself a carved image or any carved image. Uh, and then if we continue to verse five, you shall not bow down to them. And now if we know we keep reading the Ten Commandments, we're going to find do not murder and do not steal and, and all those things. And we understand that. But I got to tell you this, when I used to study uh, the Bible, I began studying the Bible uh, riding on the bus. And as I was riding on the bus, there were certain scriptures that would just jump out to me and I would kind of get a hold of them and I would just kind of put them to uh, the side because you know and I know as you're reading the Bible, there's things that at first you don't understand, but after a while becomes clear. But now if you look at this scripture again, one of the things that, every, that I can remember getting on that bus was this, you shall not make for yourself a carved image. Why does this matter? Why does it matter that there's a carved image or not? Until you begin to put that together with Genesis uh, 1 and 26, when God explains how he's going to create man, right? And so when we look at that account, well, here's what we find. God says, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness, in our image, in our image. And then when we get to the Ten Commandments, then we find don't make any carved images. Don't make any images. I'm realizing this, and I hope you're realizing the same thing, is that when we make images or we create images and put those before God, what happens after that, the result is confusion. God has made us in our image. And when we look for anything else to be the image that God has already created, we confuse ourselves about who we really are. In 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 12, the Bible says that now I, I, I'm beholding uh, uh, myself looking at a mirror dimly, right? Looking in a mirror dimly. And I'm not really able to see who it is that's, that's looking back at me. But then it says, but then we will know, we will be able to see face to face and we're gonna understand, all right? What that's explaining, you put this all together, that now though I can't see the image, I can't see it clearly because we're still being redeemed by Christ. And when that work is done and we are there, we're before the throne and we become like him finally, just like him, and that image we see on the throne, this becomes clear. Not to make any carved images. Don't be confused. We got to know who we are. You and I are God's children. You're God's son, you're God's daughter. There's no doubt about it. I want you to take some time and think about that.